Well, welcome back to the Anarchy Television. This is the 1122 Wingnut Radio out here. I'm out here in my shop. And I, uh... I really need to be sitting in here and making some stuff. I, uh, really need to actually, uh... Make a bunch of knives so I have a little bit more inventory to go out and sell so I can make some some money to pay the bills and uh, it is now the 20th of January 2021 we now at this moment According to the mainstream media and all those fucking evil people have a new president in this country. So now, officially, we are now communists. We've got a lot of stuff coming our way today, uh, as of today. <clears throat> you know... You've been hearing all this stuff for the past four or five years or whatever. You know, from the from the QAnon people trust the plan. Been hearing all this rumors and stuff going through the internet saying, oh, Trump's got something up his sleeve. You've been hearing all this stuff coming from the people of this country that believe in freedom and liberty that we're not going to allow this. Well... Nobody's done anything. Nobody is doing anything. You got all these people out here that are just like, well, we're just going to have to deal with it. You know, you hear them out there saying, just deal with it. Deal with it. You know, like I said, I, I, I need to be in my shop right now and uh, making stuff. You know, uh, I need to be creative and I need to sit down and, and use my creativity and, and make things so I can make a living. And right now, I, my heart is so heavy, I can't, I, I don't even, I can't even feel that. I can't even feel that creativity coming out. I mean, there is a part of me that that thinks that I should just get this damn forge kicked up throw some damn metal in there and start beating on it because honestly man there is one advantage of having that thing that I can take hot metal and sit here and beat on it and relieve a little bit of my stress so there is that part of me is thinking I should just go ahead and do that you know but there is that other part of me right now that don't even feel like doing that. I don't even feel like doing it. I don't want to feel like I don't want to feel like that I'm beaten. I don't want to feel like that I have no other choice but to just deal with this shit coming to us. And this is what we got to have to just deal with for the rest of our lives and our future generations. Why in the fuck? Haven't you people gotten pissed off yet? Why in the fuck haven't you gotten mad? Why are you so fucking willing to comply with this shit? I 
I don't want to be beaten. I don't want to get down to the point where I have no more of that creativity left to do what I do so I can make myself a living and keep myself fed, keep myself with a roof over my head. But I'm going to tell you something, man. We're all being forced into this. We're all being forced into this. The fuck is your plan out there, people? Oh, we got a new president. Everything's going to be just fine, right? Everything's going to be just fine. We're all united. We're all, you know, we're in this together, right? For all you people out there that want this shit to happen, and, and we're actually demanding this shit to happen, do you have any idea that this stuff, do you really believe that none of this is going to affect you? Do you really believe that you're going to be unaffected by any of this and you only think it's going to happen to us people that that uh, want to be self-reliant you know that want to be uh, left alone that want to uh, you know have a garden and that uh, want to keep our God-given rights intact and be protected do you really think it's only going to happen to us that all this crap and you're sitting there and you're sitting there going to try and label all of us as you know traitors to the democracy well I am a traitor to democracy I'll, I'm okay with being labeled a traitor to democracy because fuck your democracy yeah I am a traitor to the democracy fuck the democracy you want to label me as a uh, insurrectionist well yeah if it's uh, if it's insurrection against tyranny yeah I'm an insurrectionist yeah I'm, a, I'm an insurrectionist against evil I don't mind being called that because that's exactly what I am I am, um, I'm sad right now because it's not because Trump is out of office. It's not because of that. I'm sad because these evil people are now in the position and the power to use deadly force on us if we don't comply with their demands that's what I'm sad about that we have these people now that think that they are now our new kings and queens and and uh, and then we are all just so supposed to, to bow down and comply with whatever their edicts, maybe. I look up on this land right here. See this land right here? See this land? See this land right here? This land's been in our family for few generations quite a few generations actually all right and there's a good chance that the powers that should not be will try and take it from you. and uh, you know whatever you think you may have that that, that that you've had in your family or your family uh, has 
whatever you think you may own, whatever you think you may believe in, they want to destroy that. The powers that should not be want to destroy all of that. See this land out here? See this land? I am a man that lives on this land. This land happens to be in the place they, they call or is known as Florida. Okay? I am not property of the, the United States Corporation. I am not its property. And my body and my land and my family are not property of the United States Corporation. What's it going to take, y'all? I mean, seriously, right in front of our eyes, in real time, they've taken it all from us, and they're going to try and take it, take it all by force right now. I mean, you know, think about it. Why aren't you fucking pissed? Why aren't you mad? Why aren't you infuriated? Why aren't you fucking angry? Why are you just so willing to say, well, it happened. There ain't nothing we can do about it. We might as well have to just deal with what we got, to, you know, deal with the, the hand that was dealt to us. You know? When we know damn well that the people at the fucking card table have been cheating the whole fucking time. Why are we allowing this to happen? Why do you people think, oh well, there ain't nothing we can do about it. There ain't nothing we can do about it. It's done. I really think there are things that we can do about it. But are you willing to do it? Are you willing to jump off that bridge first? Are you willing to be that martyr? Why aren't you willing to jump off that bridge first? Why aren't you willing to be that martyr? You know, people think it's like, well, hell, you know. What are we trying to save? The shit's already done. You know? People are trying to say that, hell, we ain't, you know, this country's fucking done. We're now a communist country as of today. As of today, when they inaugurated that fucking asshole, that old fuck, and all their fucking cronies, we are now a communist country. We are now basically the same thing as China. And China has basically beaten this country without firing a shot. You know, there was a time that no other country would even dare to do this to us. Because they knew if they put boots on the ground, there would be a barrel of a gun behind every blade of grass. I don't think they're I don't think they're scared anymore. They're not scared of us. And if they are, they want to kill us all off so they don't have to worry about it. I don't know what to tell you people, man. I've been uh, been trying to warn you people for a long time that this was on the horizon. 
Nobody wanted to believe me. Nobody wanted to listen to what I had to say. They might have heard me. People might have been hearing me, but nobody wanted to listen. You know? It's such a beautiful area, isn't it? I love it out here. I do. You know, a lot of my family, you know, I'm, I'm the only one in my family that spends full time out here. I'm the only one that lives out here full time, year round. I got a lot of other family that have property out here. Now, this is not just all one big, one big pieces of property. This is, this is about four or five of my family members' property, pretty much all together, you know. There's no fence lines dividing our family members' property up, but... You know, there's about four or five of our, my uncles and stuff like that. We all own property out here. <laughs> Excuse me. It's all pretty much together. And it's been in our family for a long time. My dad's side of the family have been in, in Florida since the beginning. My, uh, my ancestors were one of the first families that colonized through St. Augustine. I had a lot of my family, and uh, I don't want to get into the racial thing of it, but they're, they're, I had a lot of my family that are white, a lot of my family that are black, that, uh, that fought in the Confederate War, in the, in, in, at, under the Confederate flag. I have, I have a lot of family that fought, died for this country and to ensure future generations to have freedom and liberty and the pursuit of property and happiness. What did they die for? Did they die in vain? Because it all, it's all beginning to feel like that they did. It's all beginning to feel like that they did die in vain. The way things are going now. Did your ancestors die in vain? Did they... Did they sacrifice everything that they had? Their lives, their property, their, their wealth. Did they sacrifice all of that for this to happen? Did they sacrifice all of that for all of you to just say, well, there ain't nothing we can do about it. We're just going to have to deal with it. Is that what they did? Is that what they did? Is that what they did? They sacrificed all of that. Just for us to say, well, you know, what's done is done. We can't do nothing about it. Is that what is that what is that what our ancestors sacrificed? For all of us to just, you know, sit back and say, you know, well. What's done is done. We can't do nothing about it. Shit happens. You know, the sun will rise again tomorrow. God willing that we'll all wake up. Is that... Is that... Really what... what what's going on? Like I said, I really need to be in my shop making stuff. I really need to be in my shop being creative. You know, that's not an orange, but I think these are like, they taste like a, like a uh, grapefruit almost, but, uh, 
or like a, a big lemon or something. I'm not sure what those are exactly. But I'm gonna tell you, these damn this tree's got some really sharp thorns all over it. So picking that stuff off of this tree is a pain in the ass because you always get messed with when it comes down to these thorns. It's really a pain. Well, I don't know what we're supposed to do, people. I, uh, there was a part of me that was watching all this crap happen this morning, and there was a part of me that really wanted to see the hand of God come down and wipe all of that fucking evil from the fucking face of this planet on live TV. But it didn't happen. Makes me wonder, is, uh, is praying our only form of self-defense from this? Because uh, through the centuries, millions of people have been praying to be saved. And they all ended up dead. They all ended up either being murdered or enslaved by evil. But they all prayed. They all got down on their knees and prayed. <sighs> you know, the difference between us and them is they might pray but they also do a lot of actions. But when they pray, they pray to the, the, the devil, Satan himself. And they are empowered by Satan. So they do things. Why aren't we doing anything? Why aren't we empowered by God when we pray to do something? Why is it that we have this, this idea that we aren't supposed to do anything? Why is it that everybody feels like that we're just supposed to sit on our fucking hands and just Take whatever's given to us. Take the hand that's dealt to us by the devil. Really don't know what to tell you people out there. I'm not beaten. I'm not going to be beaten. I will not. I will not comply. I will not submit. I will not let them beat me. You know? I sh I sh like I said, I should be in my shop right now just beating on hot metal and and relieving my frustrations out on some hot metal right now. And on a normal basis, yeah, that works. Right now, I just don't even feel like fucking beating on hot metal. I really need to be. You know? Because the way the powers that have be, the powers that should not be, 
have got the system set up to the point where I have to have certain amount of this fucking fiat currency set aside so I can fucking continue to live. And I, and I can't even feel creative right now. And that's what I need. I need my creativity to flow. And I don't feel it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. I wish I could live carefree as she does. Look at her. Look how happy she looks. Just running around, jumping into the pond. Look how happy she looks. Without a care in the world. She doesn't see any of this. Or have to deal with any of it. I really wish I had that in my mind right now. That carefree and, and happy to be just alive. You know? Just happy to be alive. I am happy to be alive, but... I just don't have that carefree attitude like she does. <sighs> this is the 1122 out here for Anarchy Television. And uh, there's Jazz. We will be back out, and we will be out here listening and watching. Y'all have a good day out there, and uh, stay dangerous and free. <laughs>